We've all watched after brewery after brewery opens in Minnesota. At the same time, a small group of small spirits producers have been opening their doors, making Minnesota vodka, Minnesota gin, and more. This morning, we visit one of the best. It's in Waconia, Jay Carver Distillery. This is our vodka still. In a way, Jay Carver Distillery isn't so different from the car dealership that used to sit on this land in Waconia. So right now, we are on the production floor. It's still a showroom. They've got a product lineup, and there's an expert ready to help. Our, we have some work happening I know, right we've got now. something going on here. Gina Holman spent more than 30 years selling alcohol, including at the YZ Muni. Since 2004, she's been making it at Jay Carver. What's the ultimate ambition or goal? Really, to put Minnesota on the map? Jay Carver is one of nearly 20 Minnesota companies distilling their own vodka and other spirits. So we have two different vodkas. Their location in Waconia puts yeah. them close to the farmers. And this is called a mash tun. Who provide the corn, wheat, and rye that shows up in every bottle. From farm to table, the locavore, everybody's really caring about where is their food being sourced, where is their beer being sourced? And now where their gin and whiskey is being sourced. It makes sense. Why wouldn't we have a great exactly. Minnesota rye That's history? We should. We should. And now that rye is seeing that renaissance. Vodka and gin are the first things Jay Carver got to market. And so what you see here is really a commitment to Minnesota. But whiskey and bourbon take time. What the barrel room is come. where Jay Carver yeah. hopes the magic will the, be happening. Oh, the, we call it the candy room. <laughs> but our beautiful barrel room. It's the gin aged in whiskey barrels that really put Jay Carver on the map of the food scene. I love gin and I love whiskey yes. and that's like the beautiful marriage of the two. <laughs> Restaurants like Spoon and Stable have come out here and picked their own exclusive barrel to sell. And just like us, every barrel has its own personality. And so some might have a little bit more of the cinnamon coming out in the barrel gin. Some might have a little bit more of the toffee notes in some of the other barrels. And so they say that's the barrel we want. There's a cocktail room in the old automotive service department where Gina will help you test drive the fantastic product. If you drink too much whiskey, you might need a coolant flush. <laughs> That's what we said. Yeah. <laughs> I like they left that sign up there in the uh, service department. The cocktail lounge is open on Fridays from 4.30 till 9 and then on Saturday from noon to 6. It's right on Highway 5. And I will tell you, they are very excited. They, You know, uh, Waconia is, is mm -hmm. uh, just a hotbed yes. with uh, different wineries opening and restaurants. It, they say it's 30 miles from home plate. Ooh. So it's only 30, 30 miles from uh, downtown Minneapolis. Uh, but they're excited about the Ryder Cup because oh, that's out in their neck of the woods. Sure. So they'll have a, a lot of people, of people coming in town for that.